What's up explorers? In this video, we're gonna try a sandwich called the Lampardado. Again, we're eating some amazing Florentine pasta. Papardelli, al cingali, and pichi con guanciale di suino e porcini. After we're done eating, we get to go over and go see the statue of David by Michelangelo. What's up explorers? In this video, we're gonna try a sandwich called the Lampardado. Some people like it, some people hate it. Let's find out how we like it. All right, so we have our Lampardado sandwich here. And what it is, it is tripe. And the stomach lining of a pig. <laughs> like I said, some people love it, some people hate it. And however, the Florentines, they take it and they just simmer it all day long to kind of get the bounciness and chewiness out of it but tripe is very well known for it and then they make a sandwich with it let's give it a shot got a high iron content. <laughs> oh. I don't think this is for me, really. <laughs> when you travel, you gotta try the things that that a city is known for. Florence, Tuscany, they're known for the Lampardano. And I knew going in there was a chance that I wouldn't like it. I knew there was a chance that I would. I'm somewhere in between the two. Like I don't hate it. I definitely wouldn't eat it every day. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of it. It's not bad, but I won't be punishing it. Then a sloppy sandwich for sure. And you got a collection of juices down here. <laughs> they marinated in kind of a slightly spicy sauce. I can see where people would like this. And I can see where people would like a lot. I've, ne I've never really been a fan of organ meat except for like in poultry. I thought maybe the way they cooked it, this guy would kind of change the flavor of it a bit, but I was wrong. It's still there. Um, I'm not a fan of that heavy iron flavor. I'm going to take one or two more bites and then I'm going to be out of here. We are sitting at Restaurante Osteria Giglio di Oro. We just got some very great Tuscany pasta. 
It is called Papardelli Al Cingali. So it's got wild boar and tomato sauce and these big flat noodles. And it should be absolutely fantastic. So we got this awesome pasta and salad sitting here in front of us. Let's go ahead and dig on into the salad first. Got some tomatoes and corns. Some greens and I put some uh, olive oil on it. Still a little bland, so I'm gonna put some cheese on it. Give her a try again. That really lightens it up, adds that piece of flavor that it was missing. And now here's the star of the show, the pappardelle a la tengale. And look at that noodle, it's covered in meat sauce. I expect this is going to be delicious. Mm. Oh yeah, that is good. A wild boar. Exciting. You can tell that that's been cooking for a long time because it just kind of falls apart when it gets into your mouth. These noodles. Man, these noodles are great. I historically have never actually liked large, flat noodles like this, but they're so much different when you're here in Italy. <laughs> I think the difference is, is it's probably they're, they're homemade noodles. They're not just your run of the mill, go buy them at this grocery store and then boil them noodles. So unfortunately this trip is coming to an end. I was supposed to go to Turin and to Venice, but my passport and vaccination card getting stolen has came back to haunt me. So as of today, you have to have proof of vaccination to get into anywhere, like any of the museums, cultural places, and, and it, it sucks, man. I just, I got it. I, I just, I literally have to, just so I can go see the statue of David, I have to wake up tomorrow at 6 in the morning, go get in line at the train station to get a COVID test, hopefully test negative, and then I can get in line. So I'm going to be able to go see the statue of David, which was really the entire reason why I came to Florence in the first place. I wish I would have went there yesterday. But I didn't have enough time. The next day, the next morning, I got to wake up and then be at the airport be for a flight for 6:30 in the morning, and then I fly to Amsterdam, then I fly back to Seattle, and then I get to deal with getting a, a full-fledged passport and my COVID stuff back, my vaccination card. So, yay! so irritated I had to end this trip like that. And at least we got another day and a half of amazing food here. And hopefully I'll have enough time to, to get into a couple things tomorrow. This is some amazing pasta. Papadella alla cingale. These wide noodles with <laughs> with wild boar and tomato sauce. Amazing. If you've enjoyed this video, or if you enjoy any of my videos, please give me a like, a thumbs up, subscribe.
I am at La Bottega di Donatello and I just ordered some, uh, uh, what's it called here? Pichi con guanciale di suino e porcini, which is uh, PC, which is a type of a pasta with pork, chicken, mushrooms. Uh, and it costs 12 euros, so it should be pretty good. I'm looking forward to it. It is definitely some Florentine food for sure. Awesome looking pasta right here after we're done eating. We get to go over and go see the statue of David by Michelangelo. Well, it's going to be a great day. Unfortunately, this is my last day in Florence. It's my last day in Italy. So the last day on this trip. I'm really sad about that. I just ended up having to spend four hours in line just to get a COVID test so I could do all of this and get home and that really sucked. I had to wake up at 6.30, get in line at 7, and then I had to wait for four hours to get the test. That was garbage. But yeah, let's get in on some of this pasta and hopefully it'll make the day a bit better. Mm. Got a nice tangy tomato sauce to it. The the, the, the beef cheek, it's got a really nice, nice salty flavor to it. Um, these noodles, look at how thick these noodles are. That's like probably six spaghetti noodles in one. <laughs> I think I probably could have cooked the noodles for probably another minute or so. But other than that, it's pretty good. One thing I'm kind of irritated about. Right next to me is the most famous building in Florence. Probably the second most famous church in all of Italy. Because yesterday, the EU made it so you can't go into cultural heritage sites or uh, museums without having a negative COVID test or a vaccine pass. That really sucks for me because my vaccine card got stolen in Naples a couple weeks ago. And that made me have to buy a plane ticket home. Things happen for a reason. I was planning on going to check this church out. Unfortunately, the line to get in for free wraps around the entire building. And this church is gigantic. It's about, it's about two city blocks. <laughs> and then if you want to skip the line ticket, they're all booked up until about the middle of next week. Keep that in mind if you're coming to Florence. I mean, it's one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen in my life. It is absolutely gorgeous. Other than the COVID problems, the, this city is absolutely phenomenal. I, I highly suggest coming and checking out Florence. You know, you can use it kind of as a little base because Pisa is only a, an hour train ride away. The town where Romeo and Juliet took place, uh, that's that's pretty close to here as well. I mean, so there's a lot of stuff. And, and the Tuscany food, oh my God. That's good stuff. <laughs> So, heading back to the States, and I don't know how long I'm going to be there. I'm so far ahead with my with my recording for videos that, that there's going to be lots of videos still available. So, I mean, that doesn't really matter to you because you're watching this probably around the first of the year. <laughs> maybe later and I should be out traveling again by then so I know I've rambled a lot haven't really talked much about the food 
but the food's amazing. But if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like, a subscribe, and... Driving cars on the Mars tonight